are basically our main uh, three products for CEOC. So that would be offices, virtual offices, and meeting rooms. So let's tackle first uh, service offices. Basically, offices we have actually four kinds, but underneath. So um, just to cut to cut it short, trying to make it simple. Um, for example, we cater to transient um, expats who want to just travel here on a weekly basis, and it's a weekly, but they don't want to manage such a uh, such a big space. They just want basically a desk to work on. So we also uh, we call that a dedicated workstation wherein they just rent the desk from us. It's situated in a private office, but it's shared by like-minded professionals, okay? And then um, the other offices that we have basically would um, be for a team na, as small as two team members, or as big as, if you want, 30, 50. But the whole center is here, it's 1,080 square meters, comprised of 30 offices, okay? Um, offices also, we have two types of offices. So um, offices with windows, we call those external offices, and offices without windows. Now let's go back to Miss Me Kim's comparison with us being a hotel, diba? Uh, parang hotel din siya. Sa hotel, diba, if napansin nyo pa, check in kayo, iba ang price ng ocean view, sa garden view, sa, sa walang view. It's also the same here. So um, if you notice a building, kung mas, um, prime ang view natin Bay Area, then of course the rates there are a little bit higher, higher than the ones without. Okay? Get in, any questions po before we move to virtual offices? Okay. For virtual offices naman, this would be basically you don't have a physical dedicated space here in CEO Suite, but you are having a virtual office. So, um, virtual office natin is uh, actually catering to those startup companies. Actually, um, for representation purposes. Let's say I want to have my own business and I'm an Instagrammer lang, like, like you. Um, I sell all my products online, but if, let's say, I would need to supply to a company, for example, for uniforms, then I would have to have a company profile, right? And I cannot put my house address in my company profile mm -hmm. because um, this big company, for example, Convergis uh, Call Center, they would want me to make their uniforms. Hindi man pwedeng ako yung address ko lang. Kasi feeling nila, um, parang fly-by-night kang company. Mm -hmm. So, this this is where we come in. So, we provide you with a prestigious address. So, imagine 37th floor, LKG Tower, 6801 Ayala Avenue, Makati City. in your business cards and your um, and your website and basically your... Um, imagine what, what this will give to the first impression sa Converges. So, nandun ka na, check ka na agad, first impression ka lang. Um, now, we have four packages actually inside the virtual office. So, it basically to tailor fit what you need. Kasi sometimes you don't really need a phone answering, but you want the address only. So, we can provide those. So, first package would be just the address only. Second would be telephone answering only, wherein we give you a dedicated telephone number. For example, 859-2988. And then if your clients call that number, we, uh, our team outside, that's Thea, Jan, and Ivy. They are our customer service representatives. They're very professional also because of course we have to give that um, image also with your prestigious um, address. So we answer it according to your spiel. Thank you for calling, let's say, ABC Corporation. This is Leanne, how can we help you? And then we transfer it to your phone number at home. And we transfer it to your mobile number. And basically, let's say you're traveling in Thailand, we can call you also there, okay? And then next one would be a um, standard virtual office wherein it's, uh, it's a combination of the address and the telephone answering, okay? And of course, uh, as a plus, we give you three days of private office usage per month here in our center. And the newest uh, package that we have would uh, be called the International Virtual Office. Because we now have 18 centers in Asia Pacific, we would want also our clients to be able to, of course, because it comes with the branding. If you're a CEO, you're basically a client of CEO anywhere. So when you do travel to Bali and you want to tap that market also for you, now your uniform business, then you can actually go there and you can also use our services from wherever you are. Okay, and then lastly, for meeting rooms, if you notice, uh, we transformed this boardroom of ours. This is actually a boardroom, good for 15 to 25 people. Um, so you can actually rent this on a per hour, half day, or whole day basis. 
as well as two smaller meeting rooms comprised of four, uh, two to four person capacity. So you can use this also. So at the end of the day, you can tell, let's say for example, you have clients you want to refer. Um, you can tell them that uh, um, rather than getting an office not conventional and it ends up as wasted space at the end of the month, diba? let's say I only use three square meters but I'm renting 50 square meters, mm -hmm. I have to pay association dues of 50 square meters and also the rent of the 50 square meters. So now, I will only pay for my three square meters and just pay for additional services for meeting rooms whenever I need it. So at the end of the day, I still save. 